Hi Leo, welcome to your July Astro Tarot reading. So this month there's a lot of things going on. I'm going to break them down for you. I'm looking at the fact that you're starting this month off with a lot of um, kindness. Kindness towards yourself, kindness towards others. Um, the strength card is the first card and uh, it's a major arcana so... There's a big shift going on with you, Leo. Um, you do have Saturn in your seventh house of relationships and being kind to yourself and then um, being kind to others. There's something going on with being gentle. I'm getting a real big vibe this month of being gentle to you, um, being gentle with other people that are uh, that you're close with. And Leos, you guys don't have a problem with that kind of energy. But because Saturn has been in your seventh house, it may be a little bit more difficult. You know, it may have been a little bit more difficult the past two years to really be the bubbly Leo that you really are because you've been going through so many shifts and uh, changes in your realities, uh, in, in your relationship, excuse me. So it just seems like this month you're learning how to be more kind, more gentle, more receptive, more open, uh, more joyful. Um, you do have a new moon happening this month in your sign at the end of the month. So that is going to be some new changes happening for you. But then we go on to the next card and I got the hermit. Um, and immediately I just thought about the fact that there's a lot of analyzing right now i'm seeing a lot of leos this month going within trying to find answers trying to reflect trying to figure out what's happening some of you leos may be starting something new um maybe uh something you're learning uh new classes new courses something that you have to learn to earn money um i'm just seeing all of this having to deal with money too because the last card that i got for you is the seven of pentacles in reverse and there's going to be a full moon this month in your in your area that deals with your work your day-to-day -day, what you're doing every day your health routines your, your overall wellness and the details of your day so some of you may be starting a new job and maybe having to learn new things um for others you may be looking at new work and how you can earn more money um, for some of you, you may be looking at what you're doing and you're seeing, okay, do I need to change um, my routines or habits so I can have more uh, from my efforts? Um, also, too, if you're dealing with relationships, because I'm seeing the strength and I'm seeing the hermit. Maybe this month you may spend some time away from your partner or you guys may need some time away from each other. I'm just seeing some separation for a little bit to get the mind, um, to get your minds right. That's what I'm seeing with the two of you or to get your money right. Um, maybe there's situations going on with finances or your work, either the work your partner does or the work that you do. It just seems like this month. There's going to be a focus on um, either trying to talk about those things or there's going to be an awareness about how you guys need to navigate uh, that area. Um, so with all of the energy, I am seeing a lot of change for Leos this month. I am seeing a big shift because there is going to be a new moon in your sign and then a full moon in um, your your sector where it's like, okay, this what do I need to change for me to be happy, for me to live more abundantly, for me to be more financially um, independent, for me to feel like I'm, I matter, there's a purpose uh, for me. There's all these kind of things that I'm seeing this month. Um, so I hope you enjoy your month, Leo, and I'll see you guys in the next reading.